In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to give you several tips on how you can apply the Blur tool. Please look at the following examples, and then we'll show you some of the ways in which you can apply a Blur using this tool in PhotoDirector. First thing we're going to do is load our photograph and then click on the guided button at the very top. Then we're going to choose the category called photo effects and choose the third one down which is the blur tools. You see we have three tabs at the top. There are three kinds of blur you can apply. The leftmost tab is for a circular blur and when you look at it it's a circle and you see the clarity is in the very middle inside the white circle and you can enlarge or decrease that any way you want. You can also change the outer circle. Now the distance in the between the inner white circle and the outer circle is a degree of blur. So we have a gradation between the white line and the outer line. And once you get beyond that you have a constant steady blur. And that's defined by the slider on the left side. So if I increase that way up you're going to see that difference where all of the area outside the second circle is blurred to the same degree and then you have a variation from absolutely clear in the white area to whatever you have here. And you can adjust that so that variation is very quick because it's a, a thin area between the two or where the gradation is a lot slower over here. So you can adjust these any way you want. You can move the circle to reflect whatever part of the image you want even going off the screen and we could make it so we see him clearly and then we see the small area of gradation then we see the total blur beyond that. If I maximize it out you see it most effectively. So this is a way you can use that tool. Now you have several types of blur you can apply. You can apply a soft focus, a bokeh, and then you can choose the kind of, of accent you have on that. The default is a circle, you can go a star, you can do a heart, you can do another kind of five-pointed star if you choose to do that. The other one is a radial and things begin to spin around the outside and you have a focal zoom where it zooms in toward the center of the circle. And then you also have a motion blur and here you can choose the motion just by moving the direction area below. So those are some of the ways in which you can apply a circular blur. Let's look at another kind of blur. This is the one we illustrated before. We'll go to the third tab actually. and We're going to use a brush and we'll remove the current effect and now we can do our brush. Basically we're masking. So we can select a brush. This will select the most prominent object and try to blur it. And um, I'm not sure what it selected. I'm going to undo that because I really don't have a prominent object here. So let's do one where we select. We can select the area to erase or the area to apply. Let's click this one here and then we're going to zoom in on the gentleman and then we'll just draw the guy in here. I'm going to change the feathering down to zero and I'll do fit to edges and we can unblur him so that he stands out from the crowd. And it's as simple as that. And if I if I go outside where I want, all I all I need to do in this case is hold the Alt key down, and then that will do the opposite. That will add the blur back around the image. We'll zoom out on that one. And there you have him slightly edited, not as good as in the example you saw, but he stands out because he is unblurred. Everything else is blurry. And again, you can change the blur degree. If you dial it down you don't see a difference. If you dial it way up he stands out remarkably. So that's the third type. I'm going to use a different image as we look at the other type we have and we're going to use a linear blur on this one. Now the default area of the linear is horizontal and again we have our same lines. We have clarity inside the white lines. We have a degree of blur between that and the outside line. 
and we have our total blur depending on our blur degree beyond that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a different kind of blur. This is an interesting one. So you can rotate it this way. And we're going to go from horizontal to vertical. The other thing I'm going to do in this case, I'm actually going to move this off my screen, which you can do. I'm going to take this and drag it out so I have this degree of blur increasing through the whole picture. And then what I want to do as well is I'm going to change from soft focus. Here I have three options. I have bokeh. I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use the motion blur. And so here I have a little bit of blur on the cyclists. That's not bad. That shows me the problem I have is on the left side is I have no blur and I'd like to have almost all of the image blurred. So I'm going to drag this over here so the clarity is off farther. And there's a limit to how far you can go. And then I'm going to click on Save As, and I'll save this. And so I've saved it. Now I want to make some more changes to it. What I'm going to do is go into my Adjustment tab, and then I'm going to go into the Crop tool. So I'm going to move in from the left side, right to the biker here, press Enter. Now I have my cropped image. The other thing I want to do, I don't want the house here, so I'm going to use another tool that we talk about a lot. I'm going to go back to my Guided area. It will save a copy of what we've done so far. I'm going to go to my Improve Remove and use my Smart Patch. First I choose the area I want to change. We're going to Smart Patch the top of this house. Click on Next and then we drag to the part we want it to see. We're going to turn this to All Trees. Click on Apply and we'll Smart Patch the middle of it. Click Next. Make this also greenery. Now we'll take this part here, click on Next, see if I can apply it here. Okay, and apply. Now I did this a lot faster than I normally would. Uh, in most cases I would take this stuff and I would be a little bit more careful, but I'm trying to save time here. Uh, I'll make this a little bit green. So basically, I have it so that the house disappeared. And all we have is a concentration on the bikers. We have a little bit of the motion blur from the front biker all the way to the ones in the rear. And so it's kind of an interesting way in which you can apply multiple tools when you're using the blur effect. The blur tool features the three options we focused on, and we hope this has been helpful to give you creative ways in which you can use it as you edit your photos in Photo Director 365.